Hi everyone, uh, Jackie here. Uh, so excited. I uh, received my first uh, creative team member uh, haul and I'm telling you what, I am just so, so loving this collection. Um, I was sent Blue Fern Studios Seaside Cottage and this, this collection has been on my wish list uh, since it came out and I was just ecstatic when I found out this is what I was receiving. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you what I received, uh, all that I received in my box. And um, the collection uh, is 10 designs and you get two sheets of each design. So that's a total of 20 sheets of this beautiful uh, paper. So starting first with the calling cards or the cutouts. Um, and as you can see, they, they are just fantastic. Um, love, love it. And I'm going to have, I'm going to, I know I'm going to have so much fun, just so much fun, uh, creating with the, uh, this collection. I always already have a couple of, uh, ideas in my head. So, um, uh, I can't wait to get started. Um, uh, so this is the calling cards. And then of course we have the back side of them, which is a, your blues and your uh, creams with a little bit of gold. And I have to tell you, this uh, collection is filled with some gorgeous colors. Um, we've got the blues and we've got the pinks and we've got the beige. We've got the aquas, a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow, uh, lots of cream and beige and a goldish color. Uh, so it's very pretty. All right. So our next page uh, is Gala, and I just love this one. I this one is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, the whitewashed fence or wood panes and the background, and then uh, you have the flag banner up here in the corner um, with a little bit of flowers and a butterfly scripture on the side, and then you've got your seashells and it some flowers down at the bottom and the back of that one uh, is a pinky mauve color and it's a graphic of a map so that should be fun to, to create with um, whitewash is our next one and this is another one of my favorites um, I'm probably going to say that on every page but I love the colors I love uh, how this is just uh, created. You've got your blues, your light blues, your grays, your beige, your cream. Um, then you've got some of your flowers and butterflies down here below and up here at the top you've got your greenery with a, a starfish. So fun, fun, fun. And then here's the back side. Um, so vintage. Look at that. Mm, love it. Um, palm tree up here at the top, uh, your seashells, your mermaid, seahorse, your compass, your ship over here. Um, how fun, fun. Uh, next we have voyage and this is more of the, um, I'm not sure if the, you're getting the color here. I don't think we're getting true color. Um, this is more of your aqua green. Uh, and then it's got the darker beige and the creams along with it. And then you've got your uh, big ship uh, graphic down here in the corner. It's got some pinks and some yellows and the blues, of course, going through it. And this is the back side. More of a goldish, creamy beige gold color. Very pretty. Next we have Regala. And this one is, again, your beige and your creams and your off-whites. And then you've got the accent around the edges with your blues and your pinks and uh, your yellows. Very pretty. And the back side of that is this gorgeous uh, splatter page of your aquas and your cream. Just beautiful. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
Wouldn't this just make a gorgeous layout for a scrapbook page? Wow. Love it. And this one's called Mermaid. And this has got your whitewash background fence panels behind it too. This is gorgeous. Oh, and this is the back side of it. Oh, this reminds me of a storm at sea type of a uh, uh, image here. Oh, how fun. You've got your grays and your blues and your creams mixed in with them. Uh, and, uh, and just beautiful. Then you have Embark. Um, this one is another one. going to be another one of my favorites. Look at that. It looks like you're under the sea. Um, you've got the sand and then you've got the ocean. Uh, you got a lighthouse in white. Uh, you've got the white, some filigree and the star of seashell and the lighthouse. And then down here, some more shells. Mm, very pretty. And then the back of this page is your cream. Uh, love that uh, they do the solid on the background. It uh, I love to add these into my mini albums and use them as my background and then put the more of the embellishments on top of them. So I love that. Love that. Our next page is called Glory. Mm, look at those pinks. Ah, oh, pinks and corals. It's got a little peach in there too. Uh, your blues. And then you've got the beautiful graphic seashells down here. Mm, absolutely gorgeous. And then more of your blues on top. The back page is um, in your uh, blues with all your seashells. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I like that. And then we have Splendor, and um, this is very pretty too. Um, they've got the uh, wood panes going the opposite direction, uh, more horizontal than vertical, uh, like the other ones. And there's some beautiful flower images uh, in here, just so pretty. And the back of that one. We've got the more aqua color with some gold designs in it. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. Then we have Relic. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful aqua and the cream. Mm, so pretty. So pretty. And then we've got the anchor down here with a little bird. Very pretty. And the back is our pinks. Um, with, uh, looks like the, I'm not sure what they're called. They're the wheel, <laughs> the steering wheel of the ship. Uh, not sure what it's called. I know there's a, a correct word for them, but we'll go with that right now. So, so that's the collection. And like I said, it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, along with the paper collection, Tamara, Tamara also sent me a few fun little extras to go along with it. So she sent me a package of the uh, Blue Fern Studios uh, flowers that are going to look wonderful on this. And you've got your darker cream, your beige, you've got your aqua, you've got your pink, your beige, your white, off-white, your gray, and another pink there. Oh, look at this. Mermaid die cut, chipboard die cut. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's going to be fantastic to use on my one of the projects I have an idea for. Mm, it's going to look awesome, all embossed up. Mm -hmm. And then we got the she sent seam binding. Love, love the seam binding that you can uh, get in her store. Uh, she sent me some apricot or apricot color. It's more of an apricot, an off white, and then some blue and some. Uh, green. It's not really a lime green. It's more like a, not moss, but in between a lime and a moss color. So it's very pretty. It'll match beautifully. And then, of course, my favorite, favorite, some lace. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? And that is the prettiest pattern. Mm. Love it. Love it. And then another 
lace and uh, uh, this one is just absolutely beautiful and this lace are like an off-white creamy color not really beige but more of a cream color and will just look great with uh, those papers look at that and then oh my goodness another fun part here some uh, metal charms uh, these are the seahorses. I'm going to go ahead and put them there so you can see. Seahorses. Oh, look at how fun these are. Uh, octopuses. Ah, love them. Love them. And then uh, four little smaller charms and the anchors. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. How fun. Uh, and along with this, we, there's more. Um, she sent me a package of the score tape sheets. Love these. Um, if you've not used them, you have to try them. Highly recommend them. They are fantastic when you're making smaller projects. Um, these 6x6 are perfect for a 6x6 six six, uh, mini album for the covers. Uh, save your score tape rolls and use just one sheet. So definitely will be using those and they also come uh, she also sells them in the eight and a half by eleven size to it and I have used both sizes, and I love them both then we have uh, some chipboard and this is the medium weight chipboard and I'm just really I've never seen the eight and a half by eleven chipboard and so I'm used to just buying the 12 by 12 but I am liking the idea of having the eight and a half by eleven uh, wow. Uh, so, especially with some smaller projects that I have in mind. So that's nice. And then we have one more package. And I did cut this open. And I did take a little peek in here. And so, um, she had the same idea I did with the mermaid chipboard die and sent me some Blue Fern Studios Imagine Ink embossing powder. And it is in, it's a it's called Sand and Sea, and it's like a grayish silver, but not really like a mixture of it. So that's going to be beautiful. Mm, can't wait to see how that comes out. Oh, that's going to be gorgeous. All right. And then, last but not least, my fave, new, fave, fave, fave new product is the uh, art glitter glue that she, um, that she is offering in her store. I have already used this. I've purchased some and I actually bought the bigger bottle uh, so I could have it to refill my smaller bottles. And I'm telling you, I'm not much of a glue person and I'm absolutely in loving this glue. Uh, it sold me. It definitely sold me on this glue. Um, nice thing about it too is when you purchase the bottle, uh, it also includes um, your metal fine tip. So uh, what you do is you just remove this uh, cap here. No, you don't. All right. I'm, I'm this one right here. Not the big one, just the top one. And then you put that little fine tip, metal tip on top of this. So, and it does come with a little um, pin uh, that uh, you use and just stick it in there to help to keep the dry, uh, the glue from drying up. Uh, and I'm telling you, um, this really has helped me like this glue because it gives you a fine, the fine tip gives you a fine line so you're not getting globs of glue out and where it's going all over and making a mess because I have a tendency to make a mess with the glue. So that's my uh, creative member, uh, DT Hall. Um, can't wait to uh, play and create my first uh creative team member uh, project and tutorial so um, I will be back uh, shortly with some projects for you uh, thanks for watching